Hey guys, my name is Stacy. I am an online in-person fitness coach. I work at the Project um, as well as uh, CrossFit Armory South or Armory Athletics. Uh, I run an online business, Wad Tricks. Uh, check it out and I do lots of online work on my page as well. Uh, Stacy underscore Gymnasty. Um, lots of live classes, um, home workouts. Uh, so obviously that's been a big focus of ours the past six months of any trainer is online work. Um, so our focus for myself, um, big thing is mobility. We're probably sitting more um, at our desk, on our phones, you know, just um, not as active as we normally would be. Uh, given the circumstances. So mobility is huge and even being a fitness coach um, It really sets the tone for people's movements um, Whether they're capable of reaching full range of motion and skills. So that's why I always like to start workouts with a little bit of mobility All right, once we get our blood flowing, we want to then wake our muscles up with some activation uh, lots of core um, and then kind of you can do like two to three circuits uh, ranging in exercises, combining however you like, maybe maybe one lower body circuit, one upper body circuit, maybe a little combo, and always throw some core in. Um, and yeah, these can be 30 minute workouts. Uh, bring all the things that you may have. If you have a band, that's great, that would be super helpful. Even the short, short ones as well. Um, any weights you got, we got a foam roll here. Uh, maybe a pillow. Uh, I'll probably go grab my pillow. And um, if you don't have bands, then uh, towels as well can be a great replacement. Um, so I'll show you a bunch of variations for that. So on that note, let's get rolling. Um, we're going to start on the ground here. So big thing is if we're kind of in this plane the whole day, our sagittal plane, we're not getting a lot of rotation. So today that's kind of my focus. Um, so be starting in tabletop, I want you to reach through kind of as far as you can, dropping your shoulder to the ground. All right, and try not to arch your back. All right, keeping a pretty neutral spine. Okay, and then come out and twist open the other way. Having that rotation come from your spine. And then you can just go back and forth a few times, holding for as long as you want. And just start creating some rotation in your spine. Feel a good stretch. I like to do uh, usually 30 seconds to a minute of mobility. And let's try out the other side. Reach through. Touch that shoulder to the ground. Open back up. So it should feel a nice little stretch in your spine there. Just in your back as well. Again, you can move as fast as you want or as slowly as you want. Just recommend always having control. All right, and then our chest can get super tight if we're hunched forward all day. So hands a little wire and you're gonna drop your shoulder and your bicep to the ground. And you kind of want to like stack so you can push over and really open up those shoulders. And alternate. Again, this one you can go as fast as you want, as slow as you want. Just feel a good stretch. Feel your body start to wake up. Beautiful. All right, another one of my faves here, hip openers. Okay, so you can be high in that back foot, a little more active, okay, or you can drop a knee, so you can just kind of more focus on the stretch. Okay, the goal here, just reach your elbow down as far as you can, goal being to touch the ground, and then again, add a twist. So a little bit of inside of your leg, and a twist from your spine. We're gonna do about eight reps here. If you want a little more active, then you gotta get your elbow, travel a little bit further, you'd lift up that back knee. And 
then it's a little more active stretch as well. Good, try out the other side. You can always start with your knee down, do a few reps, and then bring your knee off the ground. And about eight to 10 reps or 30 to 60 seconds. And you can also hold it for as long as you want. Good, and rest. All right, another great one is pass-throughs. Okay, you can just do shoulder circles. Oops. All right, so pass-throughs, just arms stay locked out. Okay, I'm gonna pull the band apart a little bit, get a little leeway here. Trying to keep my elbows locked out the whole time so arms stay straight. Get those shoulders moving, especially if you find yourself sitting lots. Okay, and again, you can do this with a towel or a shirt. Um, a broomstick is also great. All right. Okay, so a little bit of warm up, probably five to 10 minutes. Uh, you can pause if you wanna keep trying out those other stretches there. Um, and let's move into activation. Uh, so, I like doing dead bugs. So a few variations. I'm gonna show you one that maybe you haven't done before, or seen before. All right, so our dead bug, we're on our back here. First step should be getting your back to the ground. All right, so as I press my back to the ground, my shoulders start to lift, not leading with the neck. All right, so this is our dead bug position. You can alternate kicking out one leg at a time especially keeping that back down as we extend. So I'm gonna shove my fingertips underneath, no space. All right, so I'm good. Okay, if you're struggling, keep that back down. Just practice kind of this hold where you can really press your back down to lift up your shoulders. So a little more advanced, I like a little sandwich tension dead bug. So I'm gonna drive my knees into my um, forearms there, forearms into my knees. So I'm sandwiching the uh, foam roll here. All right, so pushing my spine down. We're gonna kick out, alternating one leg to the other, and I'm constantly thinking about squishing the object. All right, so let's try these together. We're gonna go 30 seconds. That's kind of a good activation time as well. Three, two, one, and go. So take this time, focus on your breathing. How can you Keep your breath while you're squeezing your abs so hard. So we gotta practice when it's a little lower intensity. As you extend, kick in, drive that knee towards your tension. All right, this can be a pillow. Few more, push that spine to the ground and rest. Beautiful. All right, dead bugs, fantastic for, uh, you know, getting that core engaged. All right, so another big thing, it's really tough to kind of work your back muscles if you either don't have weights or you don't have a pull-up bar um, or machines that allow you to do that. So we have to be creative, all right? Especially, you know, if we're super tight in our chest, we gotta be creative with our back exercises. So great one is a W, so you're gonna squeeze your butt, Kind of raise your chest. You can extend your arms overhead. Okay, and then I want you to think about like pulling on a lat cable machine or doing a pull up, driving your elbows nice and close to your body, trying to squeeze your mid back together, your mid traps, um, and trying to pull your shoulders away from your ears. So let's, again, you can do this with a, a band as well. All right, or just body weight here. Let's go. So pretend you're pulling something, then press overhead. That's gonna warm up our shoulders. Okay, squeeze your butt, keep your toes on the ground. And really try and get those arms up nice and high as well as you press overhead. My palms are facing the ground. A few more, squeeze that butt. Drive those elbows down, pull. All right, so W's, 
um, those are another great one to activate that back or just do throughout the day, you know, kind of virtually the same thing. Just sitting up, okay? Drive your mid, mid back together, pull shoulders away from yours. All right, another, it's always wake up your glutes. All right, so we're gonna go on tabletop. Now let's think about tucking your hips under, nice straight spine. Okay, we're just gonna drive our knee, fire hydrant. Probably guess why these are called fire hydrants. Trying to keep your hips square to the ground Okay, and squeezing your butt to raise that knee. And as well as not trying to lean all, all your weight over into that one side. All right, balance between your hands. Here we go, we're gonna go about 20, 25 seconds per side. Two, one, and go. Keep that core tight, so think, tuck your hips under. Think about the dead bug. Keep those hips facing the ground. Take a look down. Make sure you're not leaning over to one side. Think about squeezing that side booty or glute mead. Good. Other side. Let's go. So our side booty, our glute mead, it brings our knee away from our body or our leg. So that's kind of more on your, your hip side. And don't be leaning over to one side. Keep the core engaged. And rest. All right, now our glute max. Big part there, booty gains here. So first thing you can do, again, find your core always. Okay, and we can just go kind of heel pulses, squeezing your booty to raise your heel up. Okay, that'd be step one. And then the harder version, okay, is to bring your knee to a hugger and then do the same thing. Okay, so now we're waking up our glute max. These are also just sweet exercises too. If you do like three to four set, you'll get a good burn. All right, let's try them out. Let's go knee on the ground first. You try a few, let's go. But keep that core tight so we don't want to donkey kick and drop our chest and our low back. In order for our butt to work, we gotta kind of keep our hips tucked. Think about pressing your low spine to the roof. Use that booty. Good, other side. Let's go. Tuck hips. Flex your abs like someone's gonna come punch you in the tummy. And then driving that heel straight up. And if you want a little extra, bring that, that knee to a hover. Still keeping that core engaged. And rest, beautiful. Okay, last, I've talked about that rotation. So let's wake up our obliques, our side. All right, so side plank. Lay on your side, sexy pose here. Bring that top leg in front, place it on the ground. And then I want you to drive up your hips. All right, that's all. Here we go, two, one, and go. So with that foot down here, I can really focus on, I don't have as much body weight, so I can focus on pushing my hips up using my obliques. So that side facing the ground there. You want to squeeze it to raise it up. So I want to go like 30 to 40 seconds aside. We've got 10 seconds. You can go on your elbow, on your hand. You'll get a little more shoulder on your hand. And good, rest, other side. So the other version here is stacking your feet. You do you. Two, one, and go. Keeping that chest open. Hips are stacked. And then I'm just trying to squeeze my side to raise them up. And on your elbow or on your hand, halfway. You'll just be getting a little more shoulder stability, which is fantastic. And rest. Beautiful. All right, let's work now. So, if you are, have minimal weight, all right, um, squatting is obviously gonna be a tough one if you don't have weight to gain strength in, okay? So, a great way to do it is to just do a tempo, like three seconds down, three second pause, shoot back up, or you can go slow on the way up. 
All right, so what we're gonna do is the three seconds down, three second pause. So nice and slow on the way down, driving out my knees, heel to toe gripping the ground. I'm gonna pause, driving those knees out, don't let them cave in. Okay, try and be below parallel, shoot back up. All right, so low or fast squat, trying to get full depth. And then you can always hold weight, okay? So hold weight in front, you can hold it behind your head there. Uh, you can hold it in one arm, okay? Um, and then maybe if you have a small band, you can put it above your knees there. All right, and that will get some resistance for you. Okay, then we're gonna do a behind the neck pull up. So again, being creative with our pulling, I'm gonna hold a band or a towel, okay? Anything that you can pull apart, drive your elbows down, okay? And we're gonna go behind the neck pull up. So just pretend you're hanging from a bar in the gym, rocking out pull-ups. All right, think about that, visualize that, feel your body doing that. Okay, squeeze those mid traps together, elbows down. And then constantly think, pull the band apart. You'll just get an extra little burn there. All right, rotations. So same thing, you can grab a towel or a band. Okay, you're gonna pull the band apart, tuck your hips under so we're not like twerking, you know. Okay, tuck them under, shoulders away from here, pull the band apart. Now I wanna use my obliques to help me twist. All right, get some rotation, get some obliques. Nice course, um, yeah, all right. I'm gonna do it with y'all one time. We're gonna go uh, 45 seconds for the squats, okay? Uh, 30 seconds for the pull-ups and 40 seconds for the core for those rotation. Okay, I like to do the core ones a little bit longer. Since we're doing tempo squats, we're gonna go a little bit longer as well. So I'll do one round with you, um, and then I suggest pausing it, repeating uh, two to three times, or one to two times, so you get three sets without me. All right, here we go, five seconds. Tempo squats, two, one, and go. Nice and slow, you can hold the weight or band around your knees. Pause below parallel, chest up, knees out. Shoot back up. Go as slow as you want. You can do this with the weight, the band. So we're going 45 seconds for the squats. Drive those knees out. As you get low, sometimes our heels wanna leave the ground. Make sure they don't. 10 seconds. And rest. I like to rest about 10 seconds between these circuits. Behind the neck pull ups. Here we go. Three, two, one. Squeeze up at toes on the ground, or you can lift them up. And pull the band apart, drive your elbows down. Squeezing that mid back, all right? Pull shoulders away from your ears. 30 seconds total. <laughs> and always keep tension whether you're holding a towel or a band. And rest. All right, tall kneeling. Rotations. Here we go. We're gonna go 40 seconds. So getting a little bit longer for the core. All right, shoulders away from yours, pull, and let's twist. And think about your core. Firing your abs to pull you over. Get that rotation in your spine, it's so good for you. And hopefully you'll get a little burn in those shoulders by pulling the band apart. And good, rest. All right, again, rest about 15 seconds. Press, pause, repeat one to two more times or more, you do you. All right, and then come back to me. Okay, so we did some squats, two feet down. All right, we did some pull-ups, 
So now we're gonna do a single leg squat. So I'm gonna change it there, change it up, work on that balance, okay? Then I'm gonna do some pike push-ups. So we did a pull, now let's do a push. I like pike. All right, so my toes can be on the ground because I can get into this position, which we're not in, not in a lot, and I can get a good, you know, just a nice straight spine, all right? I'm also not overloading my chest and our chest can be super tight if we're sitting lots. All right, so going from here, I'm gonna shift my weight forward, kind of shoulders over top. I'm gonna try and touch my head to the ground. Elbows are going back at like a 45 degree angle. And then I'm returning to that down dog position, all right? To make it harder, you would put your feet on like a chair. So you're in more of like an L shape, all right? Um, so we're gonna do that. And then we're gonna go wipers, keeping up with our uh, our twists here. So uh, hips 90 degrees. I'm gonna bring my hands out to a T position, windshield wiper, pushing your spine back down, bring those feet back up. You can hold something in between your feet, make it extra spicy. All right, so we're gonna go about 25 seconds per leg on the single leg squat, which you can do, sorry, I didn't demo those which you can do on the ground, okay? Just without any support there, maybe uh, holding on to something, or you can go to a chair, go to seated there, stand back up, okay? Or you can always go to assisted, right? So we can go nice and slow on the way down, okay? Then you might need to put your foot down to go to standing. You can hold weight, you can go nice and slow, make it harder, right? We can always progress it, so. All right, starting off with single leg squats. Here we go. We're gonna go 25 seconds per leg. So we're going all on one leg there to start. Three, two, one, and go. Trying to stay balanced. I'm trying to keep my other foot up there. It's hard to stay balanced and talk. We wanna try and keep that knee nice and stable. It tends to wobble around. Think shoot your hips back as well. Good, switch legs. Here we go, two, one, get set. Okay, so the other option, kind of sitting to a target. And you don't have to sit all the way down either. You can kind of just like hit the target, stand back up. Or if that's just too much, okay, you can go to seated. Just go nice and slow on the way down. It is a balance thing and a mobility thing. And rest, 10 second rest, pike push-ups. In this down dog position, two, one, okay. Fully sink your chest through and shift your weight. Come forward so my head is going in front of my hands. And just go as far as you feel comfortable, keeping those elbows still. I'm gonna quickly show you more advanced. Hey, like an L shape. So I got more body weight into my hands. And rest. And of course, to progress that, you go hands and push ups. Woo! Here we go, wipers. Two, one, and go. So I like putting my hands out in a T, keeping me a little more stable. And then I like to push my spine down to bring my shoulders up. But if you feel that too much in your neck, you can always have your head on the ground. Doing the core for 40 seconds. And rest. Beautiful, so single leg squats, 30 seconds a leg. 30 seconds of the pike push-ups, 40 seconds of the wiper, press pause, do one to two more uh, sets of that. And then come back to me. All right, so last little circuit, I'd like to do a little finisher now. Get our heart rates up, all right? Um, again, core while our heart rates are up, and we got some slams, okay? Oh, I forgot my pillow here. 
Okay, so you're gonna go one minute through each movement. All right, so one minute of squat jumps. Squat, always hit my head there. Squat and jump. Okay, to modify that, you can go squat onto your tippy toes, explode, or you can kind of do them a little bit faster. Um, anything to get your heart rate up and where you're exploding at your hips. One minute, then we're going one minute plank. Okay, on our elbows or on your hands, let's tuck that hip under, push the ground away, nice active shoulders, solid one minute plank. Stand up and we got slams but we're gonna do it with rotation, keeping up with the theme. So pick up at med ball, pillow, make a big rain info, slam it down, pick it up, alternate. All right, so I'm getting some core, I'm getting some cardio. You can always go to regular med ball slams, bring it up, slam it down. I'm not gonna slam for sake of my neighbors. All right, so. You're going to press pause after this. You're going to do a minute of squat jumps, a minute plank, and a minute of the rotational slams. And, you know, you can do that once. It's a finisher. Or you can just, like, go crazy and do it once, two more times. Depends how long you want to work out for. And that's kind of your cardio section. So, yeah. Hope that helped. Hope you like it. Bye.